It is Friday the 22nd of September, which means that we are getting married tomorrow. Um, it's been a really crazy week. We have both been really busy with work and um, yeah, just prepping for the big day. So um, I picked up my dress on Tuesday. It is perfect. It fits like a glove. Um, so it had to be altered basically it had to have a panel added in the back because um, originally I bought my dress for next May because we were going to get married next May um, but then we brought all the wedding up because obviously we're moving to Abu Dhabi and um, yeah the dress doesn't fit <laughs> so I had to have it altered last minute luckily there was a cancellation and I could get it in but it fits perfectly it's all done it's all picked up it is behind me hanging on that door um, and I can't wait to wear it. So that was Tuesday. Wednesday I got my nails done, so I just did like a classic French manicure. I just wanted something simple and classic. Um, and today I'm gonna do the makeup and hair run through all together. So I kind of know what I'm doing. I, I have been practicing with my makeup and my hair, but I haven't done it all together. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, I am going to dye my eyebrows first, which sounds scary, but I'm used to dyeing my own eyebrows. Um, I've done it for years, I just use the Eyelure um, kit, it's super easy and works every time. Um, so I'm going to do that before I do my makeup. Um, you have to dye them before you pluck them, so they're looking a little bit messy, but I'm going to shape them once I've dyed them. Um, and then later on today, I'm going to go and pick up my bouquet, um, which I'm super excited about. Um, it was created by a local business called House of Botanica, um, and she makes really gorgeous dried um, floral arrangements. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and dye my brow. So I have done this a million times. Um, it always sounds scary to think that you're going to dye your own brows the day before your wedding. <laughs> Um, but I've, I've done it hundreds of times, so <laughs> these are famous last words, aren't they? But I mean, it is what it is at this point. <laughs> That's kind of my motto for this whole wedding is it is what it is. <laughs> I have got the dye on my eyebrows. They're probably a little bit darker already. It's been on for a couple of minutes. Um, I have put all of my makeup that I'm gonna use in this bag, which looks really massive compared to my head, but there's actually not, there's not loads. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what loads is, but I don't think it's loads. Um, but yeah, I put it all in this bag because I have so much makeup um, that I know that on the day when I'm doing it I'll get carried away and then I'll get distracted by other things so I just want to put everything that I know that I'm using in that bag and then it's good to go. Um, and I've also got my lashes with me. I'm not that confident with eyelashes. I've got these like individual clusters. I bought these from Amazon. These were just like a recommendation from somebody on TikTok I think or YouTube. Um, and yeah, I'm not that confident with them. I think they're quite fiddly and not quite sure. But I'm gonna try, I'm really gonna try. <laughs> and we'll see how that goes. Um, it is what it is. That's kind of the motto of today. Um, it just is what it is. If the lashes work, they work. If they don't, fine. I'm not gonna stress about some lashes. <laughs> um, but yeah, good to go, so. I think I'm gonna leave this on my brows for another sort of five minutes or so. They're already looking quite dark, um, but I like them dark, so that's good. And then I will get started on my hair. Brows are done. I'm just wiping off the dye, so this one's done. Just kind of makes them look a little bit more, well, a little bit less gray my natural brow colour is kind of like a mousy brown so when I haven't got any makeup on they kind of look a bit grey and just not that nice and they go a bit they go a bit pale um, so that's just given me a little bit more dimension in my face I'm gonna put a picture on the screen somewhere of 
the hair that I'm going for. So I have been looking at TikTok tutorials for short hair updos for the last few weeks and I've pr been practicing with a few of them. I actually really like a few of them. Um, I've been wearing them like just every day. Um, but there's one that I really like that I'm going to modify slightly to give me a little bit more volume here in the crown because I am going to have a veil and my veil is going to sit sort of here like on the midpoint of my head so I want to do a little bit more volume just above it just so that it doesn't look like the veil's just kind of randomly sat in my hair if that makes sense um so I'm going to give that a go we will see um I'm not the best at hair I'm better at doing my makeup so we shall see. Whenever I, you know, need to dress up or go out or do my hair for an event or something, I usually just curl it and have it down. Um, I'm not used to doing nice fancy updos. If I have it up, it's literally just pulled back and off we go. Um, so this is pushing me out of my comfort zone, but you never know, this could be a whole new thing for me. <laughs> it I like it I'm just gonna poke the ponytail in a little, just a little bit more so that you can't see the rubber band um but yeah I think I did all right I, I, I was like for two minutes two minutes it was so quick TikTok is so good TikTok has taught me so many things um but yeah I'm hoping that that's you shouldn't be able to see it anyway because the veil is going to be in but just for the purpose of today I'll tuck it in properly um, and yeah, I'm just going to curl the front and spray it and then we should be good. Okay, so the front bits are curled. I'm just going to fluff them out a little bit so that they're not so curly. Um, but yeah, I think that is how we're going to have the hair. We'll see. We'll see if I can recreate it tomorrow. That's that's a whole different ball game. But obviously I'm going to start with foundation. I've already got my moisturiser, SPF and all that on. So um, I've decided I'm going to wear my NARS Sheer Glow, which is just my classic. Um, it's just my fail safe. I know that it's an old one, but you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So the colour is, per is a perfect match for me. Um, I wear uh, Light 2 Mont Blanc. Um, so it's a perfect match. I know that it's going to last. I know that it's going to look good in photos. Um, and so, yeah, w why not? I'll we'll also bring it down a bit further as well because my... My dress is kind of one shoulder, and so I'll need to make sure that it's blended properly, but for today it's fine. Again, the colour is perfect on me. I like the finish of it. It's natural, it's not too dewy. I don't know why Sheer Glow is called the name that it is, because it's not really that glowy at all. <laughs> um, I actually think it's quite matte. Um, but yeah, I think it's nice and natural. It just looks like skin, which is the aim especially for a wedding day concealer that i actually really love is from rose ink um somebody that i worked with told me about this and she said it was her favorite concealer and i bought it and oh my god there are some days that i just wear this as foundation so i do a little bit under my eye not too much and then i just kind of put it on the areas that need a bit more coverage but i love this concealer I love 
this Charlotte Tilbury bron bronzer. It's the Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. It's the it's the cream one. And I really like it because the shade is perfect on me. So I'm obviously really fair. And bronzers can just look too orange or too dark and just not good on me. Um, but this is quite pale. It's almost like a greyish colour. Um, like a warm grey. <laughs> um, which sounds gross. <laughs> but it really does work for pale skin. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of a contour with it. Again, the, the thing with the bronzer is light layers because I don't want this to look terrible. Okay, so that's the bronzer. I'm not doing that anywhere else. I would usually take it under the chin as well, but I just think that's quite dangerous considering it's gonna be, this area is gonna be out. I don't want my face to look much browner than the rest of me, so we're not gonna do that. Um, next, I'm gonna do powder. So I've been using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is the blur one, ultra blur, um, and I really, really like it. I'm going to use my blusher, so another Charlotte Tilbury one. This is just the um, Pillow Talk blusher. Again, I use this every day and I get a lot of compliments on it, which is always a good thing. This is just MAC um, Soft and Gentle. Is it a mineralised skin finish? Yeah. Um, it's just a classic. I really like it. I've used this for probably 10 years, more more than that. Um, and I love it. It is just a very soft, soft and gentle. It's a very soft highlight, not too in your face, but just gives a little bit of something. I'm going to move on to my brows. Um, I have been using the Give Beauty brow pencils. Um, I really really like them and the colour matte is perfect for my brows. This is the shade, I have no idea, 4? I think it's shade 4. do my eyes now this is the bit that I'm not that confident on but we can give it a go right we have to try these things so I'm gonna start off with MAC groundwork and um, it's their cream eyeshadow Um, I always use this I've used this for years again all of this makeup that I'm using on my wedding day is stuff that I have used for years always super trusted you know like tried and tested for a long time Um purely because I don't want to be testing anything for the first time on my wedding day, right? My favourite eyeshadow palette is actually the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, which is so old. <laughs> and this one is particularly old, but it is my favourite palette. And I think it's because the tones are quite pinky and I suit pinky colours. So I'm going to go in with some different shadows and I think this is where the filming is going to come in handy because I'm not going to remember tomorrow which colours I picked up so I'm going to have to watch this back. Um, lip sleeping mask which I know is everywhere on TikTok but I'm claiming this because I liked this before TikTok was even around <laughs> so I went to um, 
we went to Japan and South Korea about six or so years ago and this stuff was everywhere and I bought it in the berry flavour and used it till the literal last bit was in there and couldn't find it anywhere couldn't get couldn't buy it over here for ages and then all of a sudden it blew up on tiktok and it was everywhere so yeah so that is that eye <laughs> obviously <laughs> oh my god it's so awkward filming yourself i'm trying to get used to it because i want to vlog do like a weekly vlog when we move to Abu Dhabi because I feel like that would actually be interesting so I'm using these first couple of vlogs at home in England to practice vlogging and I can't tell you how awkward it feels to actually talk to nobody as if it's the most natural thing in the world <laughs> um so yeah I apologize for the awkwardness but I'm just practicing also, it's awkward doing a vlog about something that you're not that confident in. Like, I can do my own hair and makeup like every day, right? But filming yourself and putting it on the internet for people to watch and is just a bit weird because it's like you're almost positioning yourself as an expert in something that you're definitely not an expert in. And so I'm by no means filming this for anybody to copy it. <laughs> I'm just showing you what I'm doing. Um, so that is the eyes. I don't know if that looks any good on camera, but in real life I think it it's, suits me. It's not too much, but it's just enough to look done and dressy, you know? So, that is it with the eyeshadows, I think. I'm gonna do an eyeliner, so I'm just doing a black, like, waterline. Um, this is a really cheap one, this is from Essence, but it's actually the best, it lasts the longest, and it's really, really black which they aren't always that black. So I'm just gonna do this in the waterline. I'm going to do my eyeliner. So I have no idea where this eyeliner is from. I think it's a Japanese eyeliner. I don't know where I got it from because I definitely didn't buy it. I feel like I was given it by somebody and I, I don't know who, I don't know where, I don't know how or when. Um, but this is called ATOMG eyeliner. Um, which sounds really cheap and tacky, but it's the best um, felt tip liner that I've ever used, and I've used a lot of them because I do like a bit of a cat eye, a bit of a flick. Um, but it's got it's like a brush tip, and it's really really precise. So it's my favourite one. I don't know how I would ever repurchase it. It's brilliant. Oh. God. He's deciding to have an itch just as I'm about to do something really precise. Are you finished? <sighs> okay. done with the eyeliner um mascara <music> then i'm gonna do lips so i'm doing mac saw lip liner <music> the lipstick that i'm using is charlotte tilbury Live It Up, which I think is like the Liv Tyler, one that's based on Liv Tyler. I think I'm going to do, I don't know if I'm going to do a gloss on the wedding day, just because I think it's not going to last and Jake would hate me to have to kiss him with lip gloss on, so. But for today, I'm going to do a lip gloss, which is the Give Beauty Bubble Pop Electric gloss in the shade Candy. And... I love this. Now we're gonna practice with the lashes. <laughs> Which I'm not looking forward to because I feel like I'm gonna ruin this whole thing. Let's go to 
getting bored of my makeup tutorial. <laughs> hey, are you okay? What are you doing? Are you having a sleep? Are you having a sleep? <laughs> no, that's a big yawn. Okay, there's a bit of a situation in the corner there, but we're going to ignore that for now. That's okay. No one's actually going to care other than me. So, it is what it is. <laughs> um, that is my hair and makeup then for my wedding day. What do we think? Yeah, I still look like me. I don't look like a different person, which is kind of what I wanted. So, that is my hair and makeup. I'm going to go and tidy up all this crap now. And tidy the rest of the house too um yes i'm so excited <laughs> so this is my dress i'm gonna get it out of the bag and um steam it all because it has been in here for well since i bought it um but yeah it's like a one shoulder oh you probably can't tell but it's it's a one shoulder oh now we're out of focus fantastic it's one shoulder it kind of goes all the way down and then it's got like an overskirt on the back with loads of extra fabric and a big train and everything so i can't wait to wear it it's gorgeous i'm so happy with it it was the first dress that i tried on and i still love it just the same um i have a veil as well that is like shoved in this cupboard <laughs> that i need to um I need to get out the veil and steam that as well because that has also been um, just jumped in there. <laughs> uh, like a pearl veil. It's kind of got pearls dotted all the way down and it's really, really long. It's a super long veil. Um, so it's probably going to get destroyed um, tomorrow because all of our photos are going to be outside. Um, but it is what it is. 